Hey everyone, and welcome back to FSI DFS. I am McKinley412, and today we're going to be looking at the early slate on DraftKings for Wednesday. Uh, we're going to have a separate video out for the main slate later on in the day in the evening. Uh, but for now, just the six game early slate. Uh, and there's no weather issues that we have to be worried about here. It's a beautiful day in all these ballparks, so we can just dive right into uh, the pitching here. And a pretty decent pitching slate, all things considered, uh, with it being such a small slate. But Kevin Gossman right up at the top. Uh, Gossman, he just provides probably the best floor of any pitcher on this slate. Uh, you can see a little blip uh, against Washington here. He got pinch hit for, I think, in the fifth, maybe sixth inning. Um, kind of end of his day early, but you can just look through the logs here and you can see 27, 38, 30, 29, 31, 37. He, he's doing fantastic. 10.7K is up there. Uh, you're going to be wanting at least uh, in that mid to upper 20s uh, for a guy, but at that price range, but he, he's more than capable of hitting it. Uh, he's going up against the Angels who don't strike out often as a team. Um, but Gossman, he's got a 30% strikeout rate on the season. Uh, so he clearly has the ceiling, uh, the upside, and he provides a nice floor. Brandon Woodruff, right below him for four, uh, 400 less. He's 10.3K. Uh, Woodruff, rough start his last time out. You can kind of see he has been giving up the long ball a, a bit lately. Uh, but still, he's, again, another fantastic pitcher here. Between him and Gossman, they have like nearly identical stats across the board. And we're talking like strikeouts, uh, hard hit rate, expected batting average against, j just pretty much everything. Uh, they're clearly very similar pitchers. Um, Woodruff, $400 cheaper, going up against a worse team in Arizona. Um, so maybe you lean Woodruff over Gossman. You know, they're the same pitcher. The one that's cheaper is in a better matchup. Uh, you can see he faced Arizona earlier in the season and got only 21. Uh, you want more than that for a guy at 10.3K, but still, I think he's another fine option. Um, and if going through this slate here, every over-under uh, for Vegas right now is really low. It's 8.5 or lower. Um, so actually, there's one exception. The Detroit-St. Louis game is at 9, but it's trending under. So uh, th there's not too much to really get excited about bats wise just because you know there are so many solid pitchers um and weaker offenses really dylan cease uh he's also right around that 30 percent strikeout rate but cease is he does not have the floor that the other guys have he doesn't have the floor that woodruff or uh gossman has and he's probably not as appealing as the two guys that are below him either uh, he does have a nice matchup here going up against Pittsburgh. Um, and you know, we all know what his ceiling can be. He has that double digit strikeout upside, but his floor can also be in the basement. Uh, so Cease, I probably wouldn't be going there in your cash games. Um, but, you know, if you feel confident and comfortable with it, you know, go for it. I'm not saying he's an absolute fade. I just think that there's better options on this slate there. Uh Otani, here we go. So Otani, 8.6K, that's it. Um, I always go to his game logs thinking that it's going to do anything, uh, but DK has like all his bats in there and everything. But uh, Otani, he's got the highest strikeout rate of any pitcher on this slate here. He's at 32.9%. Highest strikeout rate. Um, he's going to be very popular just because of that price tag. Um he is going up against San Francisco, though. San Francisco, uh, they do not strike out often as a team. Uh, we all know what that offense can do as well. So it is slightly concerning. Um, and he's going up against Gossman on the other side as well. So that win bonus might not be there. Might not be there. So Hotani, I think he's going to be popular. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking at him, especially in my cash games, as an option. You, you have to. Uh, but as an absolute lock, I'm not going that far, but it, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Below him, uh, Fed, Fede, I, I never know how to pronounce his last name here, uh, but I think he is a great pivot off of Otani, uh, especially in GPP here. You can see he is in 
great, great form uh, going up against Philadelphia, who can throw up a dud uh, with the bats. Uh, he doesn't strike out many guys. Uh, he has a mid-range strikeout rate of the pitchers on the slate here. Um, but I think given the matchup, his price, his form, I think he's a phenomenal pivot off of Otani there. You know, Otani earlier in the season, he had command issues. He was letting up a lot of walks, wild pitches. Who knows? Maybe uh, his command is a little off tomorrow and those uh, big San Francisco bats can get to him. I think Feta can make a nice pivot off of him there. Velasquez, not too interested in, uh, you know, we've talked about him in previous videos here a lot. Uh, just like he allows a lot of hard contact. Um, and his strikeouts are just not what they used to be. Um, his strikeout rate, even from earlier on in the season, you know, he was up there and it's just slowly gone down and down and down. Walk rate's going up. He's just, he's not that same pitcher from earlier on in the season um, or from previous years. So I'm off of Velasquez here. Smith going against Milwaukee. They do strike out a lot as a team. Um, he faced Milwaukee earlier this season, 21.7. Uh, and Smith has one of the higher strikeout rates of anybody in this kind of lower tier uh, salary. Uh, 7.2K, his strikeout rate is at 27%, though, 26.8. Uh, so he definitely can strike batters out for sure. Um, you can kind of see he's put up a couple of 20-point games here. And at 7K, that's around 3K, uh, three times value. So that is a definite plus. Arizona, they can't win a game for the life of them. Um, so is he going to be in line for the win bonus? Probably not. Is he going to go seven innings? Also, probably not. Even if he's doing well, he's probably only going to go five or six innings. Uh, but again, if you want to try him out, go for it. Nothing wrong with that. Sheffield, no interest. Gant, no interest. Marquez, I think, could be a, another uh, fine GPP play here. Take out this game against Cincinnati. And he's put up some very, very nice numbers. Again, negative 17, not so great. Uh, but 6.5K for a guy who routinely uh, is given you in that mid-20 range. We're talking four times value. Um, so he, he again, um, kind of like Smith, his strikeout rate is up there a little bit. He's at close to 24%. Uh, so at 6.5K, a solid matchup against a poor Seattle offense. Uh, he's out of Coors. I think he is another great spot. So if you have trouble uh, fitting in uh, salary, uh, you really want to load up on the big bats, which I'm not sure there really are too many on the slate to get excited for. I think Marquez is, is another fine play there. So that kind of covers the pitching, and, and you can kind of see there's a lot of good pitching options here. Nobody is an absolute lock. Um, and with that, so many good pitching options, let's lead to the bats. Uh, and the bats kind of lead to nothing really to get excited about. I'm not going to make up uh, stuff here and lie to you guys how I'm like super jazzed about team fill in the blank. Uh, it, it just, I don't have that excitement for like any of these teams here. It's not like Houston going up against Baltimore for this past series. Uh, it, there's just not a team that you need to absolutely have. So uh, that's one nice thing about this late. I think ownership is going to be pretty spread out. Uh, if you go with implied run totals, not, they're not out yet, but looking at the over-unders of the games and the Vegas odds, uh, it does appear that they're, they're high on Milwaukee and the White Sox here. Um, but again, I'm not super excited about them. Uh, one team that I think could go under the radar that I do have some interest in, uh, especially in GPPs, um, is going to be Detroit going up against Ant here. Uh, guys like Badu um, going up against the right-hander in Gant. Badu is hitting... Two, let me see, 278 against right-handed pitching uh, so far this season. So he's been hitting the ball really well as of late. You can see he's got a nice little hitting streak going on here. Uh, dates all the way back to the 11. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven game hit streak. 
at 2.3K, a guy hitting 278 against that handed pitching. And again, this is the highest total game on the slate so far. Uh, it's at nine, it's nothing to write home about, uh, but it's a pretty even money line. So you're looking at around like a 4.5 implied total for Detroit. Um, so I think Bedu makes phenomenal value. You know, guys like Rogers hits off righties as well. Um, Candelario, Grossman, Shub is just, he's, he's been hitting very well. Um, uh, just like uh, all Bedu is here. And super cheap, super cheap. I mean, you can throw in the top two studs here and you're still looking at 4.3K remaining for everybody else. So I, I like Detroit. I, I wanted to highlight them here just because I think that they're probably going to be going on their own just because it's Detroit. People don't play the Detroit bats. Um, another team that I am looking at here, again, uh, it's probably more of a GPP than anything, but I like Washington as well. Uh, guys like Bell, guys like Harrison, Schwarber. Schwarber, it, five home runs against the Mets in two games. The poor Mets. Or bits. Um, but Schwarmer has been hitting the uh, the cover off the ball here. At nice lefty righty matchup going against Velasquez. Velasquez, who does allow a lot of hard contact. His hard hit rate is at 43. That is the highest on the entire slate among all of the pitchers. Uh, so these powerful Washington bats, I think you can also get excited about. And again, you know, with these three. Throw in a couple of the studs, throw in Gossman and Woodruff, and you're looking at 3.4K remaining. Uh, maybe you want to get off Gossman and you're looking more towards um, GPP line. So we'll go with Feta here um, instead of Otani. 3.9K. You can, you can stack Washington even more if you want and go with a Soto or go with a, a Turner. Uh, and you're still going to be in that mid 3K range. Uh, so... Chicago White Sox bats, um, like I said, I think implied totals, they're probably going to be up there. I like Washington over Philly. Detroit, I like their bats. St. Louis is another team that you can look at, as, but for bats, no issues with that at all. Uh, they do have some pricey guys up here at the top. Going up against Manning, Manning's not a slouch. Uh, I think he's the top pitching prospect for Detroit here um, in the organization, but you know, he really struggled in AAA this season. He had a nice opening start. Let me see. I think he's only pitched one game so far this season. Yeah. Um, but he, he really struggled down in the minors. So he came up, did all right, did decent against the Angels. So I think St. Louis can uh, get to him for sure. Uh, team that you want to be looking at. But uh, Milwaukee, for sure. Arizona, I'm not interested in. San Francisco, LA, not interested in either of these teams going up against these guys. Um, Colorado, Seattle, I would lean more towards the Colorado bats, but the Colorado bats are very expensive. Um, five, six, five, five, four, nine, four, five. So we're going up against Sheffield and going against that Seattle bullpen. I, th I think there's some damage that can be done. Uh, so, you know, that kind of wraps things up again. There's a lot of good pitching options here. And that means there's not a lot of great batting options. There's no one team for bats that you absolutely need to load up on. It's not like Houston from Tuesday night or the past couple of nights or Toronto from last week when we just, you had to have them because they were going to be 60% owned in cash. Um, but there's no team like that on this slate here. Pitching looks great. Uh, Gossman, Woodruff, you can fit both of them in easily, but you can choose one or the other. Otani's going to be popular. I think Fede is going to be a great pivot off of Otani. Um, and then Marquez, I think, can give you some value as well if you need it. So that kind of covers things. Uh, as always, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help us out. Uh, also, comment down below, you know, who do you like in, in this slate today? Uh, Hop into our Discord as well. We, we have uh, a bunch of free rooms. We also have premium rooms like the MLB, uh, where we do provide cores for all of the uh, main slates. We even provide cores for uh, these early slates here, these larger ones, um, every single tiers, showdown. Um, just ask any questions that you answer, any questions that you guys have. Uh, as always, uh, good luck in your contests, and I will see you in your next video.